well it's a proud moment to have women with these credentials and this commitment i am assured bharat will be viksit bharat at 2047 because you represent the future you are stakeholders and vital stakeholders this morning i was pleasantly surprised what a coincidence a statesman published from west bengal a state where i had been governor for 3 years carried a big interview of flow chairperson joy shri das verma a very detailed interview extensive it was absolutely soothing to note and meeting you on this occasion with this background is important congratulations you are 40 plus am i right having started in 1983 the world is increasingly being dominated by your gender bharat's nari shakti has been nurtured and it is blossoming our democracy now it was a historic occasion in september 2023 when parliament passed women reservation bill that was on the table for three decades for one reason or the other it could not get through it finally got through one third reservation in parliament and state legislatures and that reservation is horizontal and vertical so it will have societal representation of all segments of society what an achievement 2023 chandrayaan 3 landed on moon and we had the rocket woman massively contributing we had the occasion to go to isro and have face to face interaction with them all women what an achievement this day this year a great occasion republic day parade kartavya path my gender was nearly absent 100% dominance of your gender could you ever imagine we will have girls as combat pilots i am a product of sunny school chitorgarh we never thought sunny schools will get coed they have now girls are admitted to sunny schools but what is more significant all girls sunny school at matra all girls sunny school a constituency being represented by hema malini ji the dream girl is realizing the dream of bharat by empowering women i was soothingly surprised and motivated your resolve is power to empower this has been very wisely said ages ago educating a boy and educating a girl is different when you educate a boy you educate an individual when you educate a girl you educate the entire family that's the big difference i have seen the kind of wide spectrum you are functioning and look at the credentials when someone said i'm a chartered accountant the saying is very simple it is very difficult to pass chartered accountant examination very difficult and they used to say simultaneously no offense meant to the lawyer here it is very difficult to fail in law <laughs> all of you as i gather from your profile already given to me have made your way to the place you have rationally justifiably occupied the public space you are working very hard 
but I will make an appeal. By virtue of your position, you are a significant part of corporates. Hand holding is required for girls for two things: one, their education, and second, their skill development. If you empower a girl, you cannot imagine what you are doing. Great. That will account for exponential geometric growth of the society. When woman controls the purse of the family, the economy of the family, growth of the family is assured. This has been done in last ten years in a massive way. Imagine the kind of progress that has been registered. If we thought of having toilet in every home, that is basically relief to your gender. That is honouring your dignity. If there is a concept of her nal me jal or her ghar me nal, that is doing justice to your gender. I am from Rajasthan. Half a dozen of you are from Rajasthan. Miles have to be walked with pitcher on the head. to get water to the house that has been done can you imagine empowering households with gas connections it just is to your gender dikkat kin ko hoti thi behan ko maa ko dadi ko they used to operate kitchen in those difficult situations look at the joy in the eyes of millions of women today they own affordable housing the government has such a mechanism their sense of ownership has come to them and believable development if there is a woman around who wants to do something mudra loans are so easily available that is but yet much distance has to be traversed there it is still a strong headwind for a category of girls only yesterday you must have seen a great supreme court judgment it is being debated in public platform that assistance has to be equitable uniform for all irrespective of their religion that's a big step we find increasing footprints of your gender in every walk of life but let me tell you to be fair to you let me be honest to myself you are elite class you are highly unable class you are in the privileged category of society you are not seeing what is known as shortages destitution challenges if you desire something finances do not come in the way but there are many others meritorious with great potential they have great difficulty they have to struggle what you are doing is very commendable i have gone through particularly the interview that what the mission is but please make it a point that each one of you hand holds in your capacity i know if you choose to hand hold handed girls the impact will be very huge unbelievable there could be nothing more important in life by way of satisfaction and happiness to hand hold a girl who aspires to a good education but cannot have it who is insecure if you go into historical perspective nursing who was at peak centuries ago florence nightingale so there is urge in girls at all level particularly in villages to work to be financially self self sufficient because if you do not have financial power you cannot be independent your theme for 2024 25 is very commendable it exemplifies the aspirations of 1.4 billion people the theme is collective vision collaborative action this is 
with slight difference, but reflecting the vision of the Prime Minister. Sabka saath, sabka vikas, sabka vishwas, sabka priyas. Let me give you some figures that will enliven you. Women empowerment is nothing but basically economic empowerment because they are talented, they are hardworking. Under Mudra Yojana, 69% of 40 crore borrowers are women. 69%. That's about 28 crore women. Imagine. And let me slightly digress. When I went to the NCC camp on Republic Day occasion, more than 40% is the girl component of NCC now. It's close to 50 as a matter of fact. So this is about Mudra. 70% of homes under Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Gramin have women as sole or joint owners. 70%. And mind you, affordable housing scheme has already crossed a figure of 40 million women have got it. Look at the concession the government has shown. If a property is to be registered in the name of a girl or a woman, the government has very wisely, at central and state level, reduced this stamp duty. So there is affirmative governance policies to ensure women continue to be, make their presence felt equitably. After all, they have equal share. 45 lakh girls and women have been given scholarships and 3 crore plus Sukanya Samradhi accounts. Just imagine, there was a time you could not open a bank account. Now the number of bank accounts is over three crore, and you'll be happy to note the amount deposited in those accounts is 80,000 crores. This is Plato kind of development. Our Bharat will be really a developed nation when its woman empowerment takes place. Woman power is unleashed. They can realize their potential exploit their talent and fructify their dreams and aspirations. You all are well educated. You all are doing gainfully something. You never had to face the challenges that are ordinary, ordinarily faced by ordinary girls and women. You therefore will have to introspect, be insightful, know of their problems. What is taken by us who are gifted by getting good quality education, good life, assured life, having no problem of food, housing, clothing. Look at the kind of suffering young talented girls face when they have to drop out from schools, colleges for want of money. I scholarship enabled me to go to Sunny school. But for that scholarship, I would not have had quality education. So please, focus on education. Rather than enabling a girl or a woman by fiscal doles, enable them, make themselves sufficient so that they themselves become sufficient enough to handhold others. Could you ever imagine India will be having a place of pride when it comes to female pilots in civil aviation. We are ahead of others. We can further do it. India is defining women empowerment. India is defining women-led empowerment. How gratifying it was to see a tribal woman of humble beginning to be the first region of this country, to the president of this country, honorable president of India, Draupadi Murmu. That is a signal to the entire world. In my own way, I stand committed 
to empower women in parliament. For the first time, the chairperson's panel has 50% or more women. When Rajya Sabha considered and passed the Women Reservation Bill, on that day, 17 women parliamentarians sat in my chair. Apart from me and the Honorable Deputy Chairperson, who hold constitutional positions, all were women. If you look at the proceedings of Parliament, look at the table. That table earlier had all males. Now it has more than 50% females. That's been done. If I have to take a call, who will go out and represent our country? I give preference to your gender. I'm happy to tell you that their performance has been beyond anybody's expectations, not beyond my expectation, because I knew, I was assured, they will perform. They actually performed. They are getting a new energy with greater participation. I would want to exert the influence in your families, in the corporates you are associated with, the people you know, and your spouses, that in a structured manner, they must channelize CSR, specifically and predominantly for empowering girls, and get away from the proximate part of it to help girls close by is good, but you have to reach out to the last mile. Once you do that, there will be hope generated in those minds that there is someone try to, trying to handhold us. And now all over the country, you have 20 chapters. The last one at Siliguri, a good place. I've been there. Gupta ji is, Carter is, Siliguri, West Bengal. It should have been before, now it is there. But make it a point. Your chapters must be there in every state of the country and every union territory. I say so why? One, when you step out of your homes, you step out of your workplace, you get together, you converge at a point, synergy is development, developed, then you become a force, and then you can persuade in a structured manner industry associations, business associations, corporate associations to make it a point. By and large, I see that there is some kind of a reservation while considering a woman for a particular job. We must give them precedence. We must overcome the psychological barrier. And I have no doubt, having seen each one of you introduce yourself, nothing could be more energizing for me on this day than this. I wish you the very best in your careers. This program had to be adjusted because it was from flow. I will have to leave. So the program, which was at 2 p.m., was postponed to 4 p.m. in Mumbai. Because I know it is not a favor to you. It is a favor to me. As a vice president of the country, I'm interacting those who will become epicenter of change, nurse center of positive energy, and they will resolve from here that yes, if not 100 girls, at least in double digit, they will handhold girls. Whenever I'll come to Chennai, we'll make it a point, Rajesh, to be in connect with you. I distinctly remember when she was there, there was passion. So when I look at the present, immediate past present, and a future shining star, make most of it. Thank you so much. Are you going to new parliament building? Yes. Make, make it sure. Yes. It happens well. It will happen well. Thank you so much. Carefully go through that building. 
it reflects 5000 year civilization of wealth of bharat home to one sixth of humanity thank you so much god bless you all of you